Well, before I was a writer, uh, I had the privilege of serving the United States Air Force. I was a pilot in the Air Force, uh, 14 years. Uh, really the uh, most enjoyable time of my life is to be up flying and I think, I can't believe they pay me to do this. Uh, one of the things that I got to do that I th many people often wonder about is uh, I hold several world speed records, including the fastest nonstop flight around the world. Uh, I'm a writer now. I've written 14 or 15 books, a uh, national best-selling and internationally published author. And uh, our latest book is uh, The Miracle of Freedom, uh, Seven Tipping Points That Saved the World. I think there's three things that are important to recognize, in, and that is that freedom, what we call freedom, is extraordinarily rare. In the history of the world, there's, uh, most estimates say something like 125 billion people have lived in this earth. A tiny, tiny percentage of them have ever experienced freedom or self-government. Most of the people who have lived in this world, it would never have occurred to them. It wasn't something they could even conceive that their lives would ever be free. And yet we look around us at the world today and it's something that we take for granted because we see it so pervasive. But even then it's important to realize there's only 22 nations that exist today that have had freedom for more than 50 years. The second thing is that freedom is extremely precious. And I think the only, or perhaps the best indicator of that is the many, many men and women who have sacrificed everything they had in order to create it and to preserve it. And the third idea, I think, is that freedom is fragile. We assume that we'll always live under these conditions, and that's simply not the case. Uh, for example, Freedom House has documented in the last several years, in the last 10 or 12 years, significant march away from freedom for many nations around the world. And we just can't assume that this is the way it's always going to be. We have to protect this freedom that we have. You know, one of the things that the book indicates is that this march towards freedom, this tiny steps that were taken, they span thousands of years. The first event that we talk about took place almost 3,000 years ago, uh, where the Assyrians were defeated in their quest to uh, defeat and conquer the kingdom of Judah. We look at events that took place in more modern time even, uh, the Battle of Britain during World War II, which was a critical event which changed the future of the war and by extension the future of the world. And there are five other events between those two bookends uh, that are spaced out uh, you know, fairly evenly through human history that were all of them individually important in, uh, in creating this, this miracle of freedom.